Last month, a nationwide campaign called SG Clean was rolled out to raise public cleanliness and health. It involves a checklist with new hygiene standards and started with hawker centre stalls. Since it was launched, over 5,000 premises have been certified, including schools. ST visited Cambridge Secondary School to find out more about these practices that the schools have implemented. For our school, the new, uh, the new way is that in the canteen, we do the wipe up. Routine. So first, we just take a tissue, then put soap on it, then we clean the tables. After, everyone has to play a part. Every student from each class has to take care of their own area because it's their responsibility to do it. I feel like it's much more safer as it is like, there'll be lesser chance. Uh. So like all the sanitizing, disinfecting, all those kind of things will make us feel kind of more safer so that uh, we have a cleaner environment. I see as I move around the school that the students know what they're doing and not only know how to do it but why they're doing it. So this is a, a good way for us uh, to inculcate good values uh, in our children but with the cooperation of everybody including schools, uh, hawker centres, hawkers, uh, coffee shop owners, everybody. If you all know how to make sure that our the traffic areas are free from viruses and clean after use properly. Uh, we will make sure that this becomes our first line of defence against the fight uh, in the fight against the COVID-19. MOE has been working very closely with the SG Clean Task Force, and MOE will certainly continue to strive to keep a very stringent level of standards as far as uh, cleanliness is concerned. Uh, in all our 381 educational institutions. As of today, one month after the launch of SG Clean, we're happy to update that more than 95% of our educational institutes are certified SG Clean. And we expect the remaining educational institutes to also fulfill the SG Clean uh, criteria and receive the SG Clean certification by end of this month.